Apple Keepers, Monday through Friday. And always remember, there's no higher calling than that of a home keeper. The Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Psalm chapter 9, verse 9. Today's encouraging word has been brought to you by your friends at the Christian Television Network. Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we'd like to talk about the remarkable herb, milk thistle. Now, most of us think of milk thistle as a remedy for liver conditions, and it is that, but it is useful for so much more. And we'd like to help you understand the diverse uses of milk thistle on today's program. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. People who do not give up on their life goals fare better psychologically with advancing age. Researchers from Pennsylvania State University followed over 3,200 subjects for 18 years. They found the subjects who did not give up on their stated goals and had a positive attitude at the start of the study had less anxiety, panic attacks, and depression throughout the course and at the end of the study. The study was published by the journal Abnormal Psychology. And from the University of California, San Diego, researchers wanted to know how wisdom, loneliness, income and sleep quality impact the physical and mental functioning of older people. They found optimism, resilience, wisdom, and self-compassion protected from declining well-being and loneliness compromised well-being. The study was published by the American Journal of Geriatric Psychiatry. Folks, this line of research could be filed under the category, How to Achieve a Better and Longer Life. First, we find setting goals and sticking to the pursuit of these goals while maintaining a positive outlook leads to less anxiety, panic attacks, and depression in our senior years. Successful people understand that perseverance cultivates a sense of purpose, and this in turn creates a sense of resilience, which protects us psychologically from the extreme ups and downs encountered along our path. This attribute allows us to look on the bright side of unfortunate events, which in turn creates a life with understanding, meaning, and manageability. And it all happens because we set goals early in life. Stick with these goals and keep a positive attitude even when life throws you a curveball. Now, I'm reminded of a very wise person who once told me, attitude is a choice. Choose to be happy. Our second study confirms our first finding of an ongoing sense of optimism, resilience, wisdom, and self-compassion actually protects us over time from cognitive decline and psychological burdens. Now, I understand that many of you are saying to yourself at this very moment, but Dr. Becker, it's hard to be positive when you're suffering in pain from declining health, and I understand. But what these studies are saying is if you set out in life at a young age with goals and a positive attitude, it helps to protect you from these painful conditions. Conditions. And if they do strike anyway, well, you'll do better over time. Fibromyalgia may be caused by elevated blood glucose levels and insulin resistance. Researchers from the University of Texas Galveston have found lowering blood glucose levels dramatically reduces the pain of fibromyalgia. The researchers made the connection by discovering fibromyalgia patients consistently display slightly but not abnormally high long-term blood glucose levels known as elevated hemoglobin A1C. The study was published by PLOS One. Related research from Ohio State University have found blood test biomarkers that accurately identify patients with fibromyalgia. The researchers used vibrational spectroscopy, which measures the energy contained within the molecules of a blood sample. Now, this study was published by the Journal of Biological Chemistry. And finally, from the American College of Rheumatology, researchers find at least half of all patients that could have fibromyalgia, well, they are misdiagnosed. 
Folks, fibromyalgia is an insidious condition which features widespread pain with heightened pain response to pressure with multiple symmetrical trigger points along with fatigue, poor sleep, foggy headedness, depression, and much more, unfortunately. These souls do not respond to the typical agents used to relieve these symptoms when found in other conditions. They suffer terribly, and it is about time the science catches up with the disease. Now, what we're learning here is that fibromyalgia could be another form of diabetes. This is preliminary and, of course, controversial, but these findings make perfect sense to me. First, the UT Galveston group found fibromyalgia patients show a slightly elevated hemoglobin A1C. Now, please understand, this slight elevation does not qualify for a formal diagnosis of diabetes, but it's still in the normal but high normal range. Further, when they gave the fibromyalgia patients metformin, the most commonly prescribed diabetes drug the fibromyalgia patients experienced, and I quote the researchers, they experienced a dramatic reduction in their pain and overall symptoms. Now, our second study found a highly advanced laboratory technique that determines the vibrational energy of a blood sample accurately identifies fibromyalgia. And it's about time we have a blood test for fibromyalgia because our third study finds at least half of all patients that could have fibromyalgia, well, they're just misdiagnosed. This is truly an amazing advancement, folks. Fibromyalgia may be but another manifestation of diabetes. Amazing. Well, of course, we'll keep you advised on this subject as developments occur. But today on Your Health, we will discuss milk thistle. This one's fascinating. Please stay tuned to learn more. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Did you ever keep a diary when you were young? I'm Cindy Becker with Your Health at a Glance. Some of us still have those diaries and look through them from time to time. They remind us of what we've gone through and help us cope with our present and future. Keeping a journal while on a diet serves the same purpose. It can help you visualize your success while being a record of your emotions and pounds you've lost. While recording your diet journal, keep these points in mind. Be sure to record your initial weight and clothing sizes. Knowing these figures will help you see just how far you've come. Make a note of what you find most challenging and be sure to record how you overcame these challenges. Pay particular attention to the small victories like finally being able to bend over to tie your shoes or fitting comfortably into a theater seat. With time and effort, you'll see you're not controlled by your hunger and you do have the power to be that thin, healthy person you've always dreamed of. I'm Cindy Becker for your health at a glance. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings.
Welcome back, everyone. It's great to be with you today. We're going to learn today an amazing, amazing information about milk thistle. You know, you think about when you build your supplement plan, maybe you want something for immunity or so many different things like heart disease, whatever, but we oftentimes forget our liver. It's so important. Our liver works tirelessly for us. We want to support that too. So Richard, milk thistle yes. is one of the most amazing, I call it the silent helper because you take it you don't really feel anything per se. It's yeah. easy to take. You really right. don't have side effects. You just feel fine. Yes. But wow, what amazing oh, yeah. it's, it things it does for us. And you made a very good point that most people, you know, we think about heart disease and Alzheimer's disease and the liver. Mm, what does it even do? Many of us don't even know. So spending a little time talking about liver conditions and what our liver does for us will help you because many times when we're stuck in poor health, the real problem is the liver. Fixing the liver helps all the other organs regain their health as well. You know, one in 10 or about 30 million Americans have some type of liver disease, liver condition. That's a high percentage, 30 million or so Americans. It's the 10th leading cause of death, liver disease. Of course, I think most everyone's have heard of cirrhosis due to alcohol consumption or alcoholic liver cirrhosis. And this is a very serious condition. If you've been diagnosed with alcoholic liver cirrhosis, it increases your risk of death 1,200% from any cause, 1,200% increased risk of death. And alcoholic liver cirrhosis is the 12th leading cause of death in the United States. Fortunately, only 10 to 20% of heavy drinkers will develop liver cirrhosis from alcohol consumption, but even that number is way too high. We also have liver conditions such as infectious hepatitis. Now, and you can have a hepatitis that's not infectious. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but infectious hepatitis. One third of our population has had what we've called traditionally serum hepatitis or hepatitis A. That can make you feel very sick but almost everyone gets over that without any chronic problems. Occasionally it does, but almost everybody gets over that. But hepatitis B or in, um, serum hepatitis can make you very sick and lead to chronic problems. And we've, we're hearing much more about hepatitis C now. These two, hepatitis B and C, have the most potential to cause chronic liver disease over time. There's 60,000 new cases of hepatitis B every year. 1.2 million Americans have chronic liver disease due to hepatitis B. But hepatitis C, that's the one that really leads to long-term trouble for so many people. At least Three and a half, four million Americans have hepatitis C. And here's the thing, most don't even know they have it. This is why you see the pharmaceutical ads get tested for hepatitis C. You may not know you have it. You may be well advanced in your liver disease from hepatitis C and have no indication of it until you're well along the way. And, and the re basic reason for this is our liver is blessed with redundancy. We have much more liver than we need God knew it was critically important, so he gave us an abundant liver, but even that can be stretched beyond its limits. So eventually, people with hepatitis C develop chronic problems. 50% of the prison population in California and throughout the United States has hepatitis uh, C, and they have a very high rate of turning to cirrhosis and chronic liver disease. 10% is about typical, so about 10% of those with hep C will go on to develop chronic liver disease. That can lead to death or the need for a liver transplant. So yes, this can be serious business, hepatitis. Hepatitis C death rate has increased in recent years. Hopefully these new medicines you're hearing about for hepatitis C will help to decrease the death rate. Uh, hepatitis C is a leading cause for liver transplant. Uh, this is really a, a problem. Some 5,000 people a year get a liver transplant due to hepatitis C, but 1,700 
die waiting for a liver that never comes. That's just the, the infectious hepatitis types. Next, we have obesity and diabetes. Did you know if we're carrying too much weight, and particularly if we're sedentary, it can lead to fat infiltration of the liver, so the liver cells are replaced with fat. This is highly inflammatory. This leads to scarring of the liver and cirrhosis that under a microscope looks the exact same as alcoholic liver cirrhosis. Looks the exact same as hepatitis C-induced liver cirrhosis indistinguishable so something as seemingly innocuous as carrying a little too much weight uh, type 2 diabetes with a sedentary lifestyle can lead to considerable deposits of fat in the liver which can not everyone but a high percent a relatively high percent can go on to develop cirrhosis of the liver just from the fat infiltration into the liver diabetes is now the fourth leading cause of death in America Fourth leading cause, when I was in medical school, it was so far down the list, they didn't even list it. They just say it will contribute to cardiovascular disease. It will contribute to stroke. It will contribute to these other problems. Now it's earned a spot as the fourth leading cause of death in America. We have discussed this problem for the 20 years we've been in media, the growing epidemic of diabetes, and now it's really affecting our death rates. And the diabetic can have liver disease as a result of that. That's the point of that. Elevated cholesterol, and I'm not talking a 220 cholesterol, but a 500, an 800, a 1,000, a 2,000 cholesterol level can lead to liver disease. High fat diet can lead to uh, gallbladder disease, which we consider part of liver function. Having too high of a iron level in your body, hemochromatosis, taking too much iron, that iron will de be deposited in the liver. That's highly inflammatory. It can lead to liver disease. We're just going through the common liver diseases, folks. You didn't even think about this, did you? If we don't think about it, we won't have our answers. Autoimmune liver disease. This is where the immune system inappropriately attacks your liver, thinking it's a, a foreign invader or a tumor or something of this nature. This is a non-infectious form of hepatitis. We talked about that. Now, what would do that? Something like celiac disease when you react to gluten those antibody antigen complexes the gluten in the antibodies travels to the liver and there it sets up an inflammatory reaction to and that can lead to cirrhosis and it's all from gluten this is not very common but it does happen and if you are gluten sensitive and you insist upon eating your gluten you're opening up the door to this type of complication in your life don't do it avoid the gluten you're better off Bile processing diseases, these are cholestatic syndromes. What I mean by that is the bile becomes sludgy and thick and it was, does not process through. It leads to great troubles in the liver, it can lead to gallstones, and it can be life-threatening. Uh, autoimmune inflammation of the bile ducts, this is another process. Uh, Walter Payton, of you sports fans, he died from a process much like that and he had access to the best health care in the world and it still took his life, it can be serious, serious business. Liver cancer, primary and metastatic, benign masses, lesions, infections, and parasitic disease. You know, malaria attacks the liver. So we don't even think of these things in common everyday life. The liver is so important. And intestinal dysbiosis, altered intestinal flora, overwhelming yeast growth in the gut, abnormal bacteria in the gut. They go hand in hand with liver disease and the dysbiosis makes the liver disease much worse. Remember folks, all the blood from the gut, from the uh, bottom of the esophagus to the anus, all the blood that leaves the gut goes directly to the liver and it carries toxins produced by abnormal bacteria, yeast, and fungi. The liver has to process that. If the liver is not functioning properly, it can't do it. And it makes you feel horrible, weak, tired, run down, apathetic, depressed. These are the conditions, these are the symptoms of chronic. It is, these things happen way before you become jaundiced or even show elevated liver enzymes. So I think I've got your attention and we haven't even talked about the pollution in their environment, food additives, it's the liver's job to process all those things. You know, the average American has almost 200 different foreign chemicals in their bloodstream. That's the average. Babies are born with 100 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream. Where does that get eliminated? The liver the liver. If our liver's not functioning, we have problems. What about medications? 
Did you know that acetaminophen, generic Tylenol, Tylenol, paracetamol, it goes by many names, is the number one reason for acute liver failure? Intentional or unintentional? Overdoses of acetaminophen, number one reason. But what about all these other medicines? All of this and more taxes your liver. We need help for our livers. And we'll talk about milk thistle when we return. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker, and this is your health at a glance. If you have an irresistible urge to move when you're falling asleep, you may have restless leg syndrome. This is a puzzling but common condition. It causes you to feel odd sensations relieved only by moving your legs. You wake up often and usually suffer from insomnia. Different medical conditions cause restless leg syndrome, such as iron deficiency, magnesium deficiency, varicose veins, pregnancy, fibromyalgia, peripheral neuropathy, Parkinson's disease, or a side effect of taking antidepressants or antihistamines. Supplementing your diet with vitamins C, E, D, and magnesium may be helpful. If you are iron deficient, take iron only if a doctor tells you to do so. If you can correct the underlying cause, you can quiet your legs and sleep through the night. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Multiple Vitamin and Mineral Powders come in four different blends. That's right. When it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the Organic Green Blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the Berry Blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the Active Adult Blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, Bionutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. We're back, everyone, having a great discussion on how we can improve our liver health the natural way. There's a lot of things we can do. So, Richard, where do we start? What are the holistic measures for a healthy liver? Well, first, work closely with your doctor. With advanced liver disease, you must do exactly what your doctor tells you to do and only what your doctor tells you to do. If you are in end-stage liver disease, your life will be prolonged if you follow precisely what the experts tell you to do. If you are earlier in this course of liver disease, you have the liberty to expand your therapeutic options and that's where we can help you the most. Uh, we want to prevent that end-stage liver disease and here's how we do it. Stop all alcohol, even the alcohol in cough syrup or mouthwashes. Uh, it's that important. Alcohol is very hard on the liver especially if you have a liver condition. Next, if there's drug abuse, take the necessary steps to relieve your liver of the burden of clearing all these drugs. And especially, well, all of them, but street drugs are often cut with who knows what. 
who knows what. Your liver has to deal with that. It's too much for the liver. Get the help you need. Uh, narcotic pain medicines are often, um, they're often combined with acetaminophen. And acetaminophen is very hard on the liver, and you can overdose on the acetaminophen just trying to relieve your pain, not even thinking about the acetaminophen, but I'm on a narcotic pain reliever, and sometimes they're appropriate. I'm not saying they're not, but it's the daily chronic use that can get you into trouble. Review all your medications for their effect on the liver. The most commonly used drugs in the world are what? The non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. They stress the liver. They are the most commonly used medicines. Why? Because the world is hurting. This is not new. Humanity has suffered for eons, and we have drugs to help with that, but they are hard on the liver. I made my point. Start moving around more if you still have the strength and energy, because when we exercise, it improves the blood flow to the liver. You may not be able to run, jog, or work out in the gym lifting weights, but you can walk around your home a little more. Maybe go outside, get a little sun on your face, and move. Every step you take improves liver function just a little bit. And maybe with time you can gain more strength and do more, but exercise is important. If you are a diabetic, bring it under control. High blood glucose levels stress the liver. Avoid the diabetes. If your doctor has said, I'm concerned because you are pre-diabetic, take it seriously. Get up and move, eat less starch, eat less sugar, more healthy oils, healthy foods, fruits and vegetables, and get this under control. Give your liver a chance. High fiber diet, rich in fruits and vegetables. Fiber binds bile. And bile contains the toxins that our liver has processed and detoxified and is in the act of eliminating. If you're eating a low fiber diet, guess what happens to those toxins? They are reabsorbed and recycled and we try it again. And you can get in a loop of over and over and you just can't detoxify. This is if you have a low fiber diet. Add a little more fruit, a little more vegetable. If you're allowed to eat whole uh, grains, make them whole grains. And supplement your diet with a little more soluble fiber. It makes a difference in liver disease. Organic foods with no additives, no food colorings, no preservatives, no flavor enhancers. If you just eliminate MSG in all its forms, learn what they are. Go online and get a list of how they disguise monosodium glutamate. <laughs> you know, folks, if you want to create a, a laboratory animal with diabetes, there are several ways to do it. But one of the easiest ways is just to feed them a high MSG diet. They will become diabetic. If you want to study macular degeneration, give that same animal the MSG and they will eventually develop macular degeneration and you can set up a laboratory experiment. What are we doing to people with all this MSG in our diet? I, I would love to see Dr. Blaylock, Blaylock come back and talk about this again, but he's retired now. He's given us this information. We, we know this. Be careful with this MSG. Take the burden off your liver and your body. Uh, reduce your protein and high fructose corn syrup. Now, we all need protein, and I'm not saying uh, don't eat protein. But as the liver becomes more and more stressed, it gets harder and harder to process protein. Then in the end stage liver disease, the uh, protein, what happens is it gets turned to urea and then ammonia in the brain and ammonia don't go. This can lead to coma. So we, we don't want to stress our liver with a 24 ounce ribeye steak if you're in liver condition. You won't feel well. You can have a little steak, but not too much, not too much. <clears throat> Correct the intestinal dysbiosis and the constipation. Remember, we talked about abnormal bowel flora worsens liver disease. They go hand in hand. You can't fix the liver without fixing the intestinal dysbiosis. Uh, there have been cases, to make my point, of people being in a hepatic coma. They're in a coma due to high uh, nitrogen and ammonia levels in their bloodstream because of liver failure. And they instill probiotics into the intestinal tract and they wake up from their coma just from the probiotic. This is true, it's real. So correct the dysbiosis, do all the things. We talk about this a lot. We have other programs just on that and you will relieve the stress on the liver. It doesn't have to work so hard and things will get better. Drink water, as much water as you, as you need. 
Don't just drink soda pops and coffee and tea, have more water. Saunas and steam rooms help to detoxify. Now we have multiple organs of excretion, let's call it that. We have our liver, help to excrete toxins. We have our kidneys, and we also have our perspiration, our sweat glands. And if we transfer some of this duty over to these other organs of excretion, it can relieve stress on the liver. So working in a sauna, working with the sauna, sweating out some of these toxins. We know you can detoxify heavy metals with the sauna. It lowers the toxic load. It can help. It can be very helpful. Drinking more water, you have to take all the precautions with saunas. It's hot in there. You don't want to develop electrolyte depletion. But if you do this wisely, a little sauna will help the liver condition. And of course, dietary supplements. Dietary supplements are huge. Now, we're headed to a break, and before the break, I want to make a very important point. We're all familiar with fake news, right folks? We've heard of this. This is not a new concept now. Well, there's fake science too, and I want to make the point that milk thistle is such an effective antidote, such a, an effective remedy for uh, 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 liver conditions that there are drug companies who fund studies with intent to discredit milk thistle so that you feel you have no choice but go to their very expensive drug. I am not anti-medicine. Uh, I am a believer in whatever works we will use as long as it's safe, practical, and we can afford it. Now these medicines, uh, particularly for hepatitis C, they're very expensive, but they work. If you can afford $100,000 for eight weeks of medicine, you have a chance of curing your hepatitis C. I want to make that point. But milk thistle goes way beyond hepatitis C, and it even helps those with the hepatitis C who want to use the medicines. You can use them together for even better results. Milk thistle is next. CoQ10 and L-carnitine are among the most important nutrients our bodies use for energy production. Deficiency in these key nutrients can cause serious complications to your health. In fact, statin drugs that are used to lower cholesterol may deplete your CoQ10 levels. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10 with L-carnitine. Now providing support for cardiovascular health is easier than ever before. CoQ10 and L-carnitine support a healthy heart naturally, as nature intended. And our formulation provides 300% greater absorption of CoQ10 than similar products using a technology so effective it's patented. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you remember the questions you wanted to ask your doctor after you've left the doctor's office? That's happened to me, so here's my strategy to get ready for a doctor visit. If it's a first-time appointment, be sure your medical records arrive ahead of you. The doctor can review your history quickly. This leaves more time for discussion. For every visit, write down your questions at home. Include a list of medications you take. When you arrive, fill out the medical history forms concisely and accurately. Attach a copy of your questions with the forms so the doctor is aware of your questions before he or she steps into the exam room. Bring your friend for support and have a notepad to take notes. Before you leave, have all your prescriptions. And here's hoping you don't go to the doctor very often. With your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, Mayataki, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. And Bioinnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing Mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. 
Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. back everyone talking about how you can support your liver the natural way with milk thistle so to help you with that we have a great special on the milk thistle today we have buy one get one free where you buy one bottle of dr becker's bionutrients milk thistle at the list price you get a second bottle free so don't miss this one richard this is great information yes. it is milk thistle is a true gift of nature our latin name for milk thistle is silibum marianum and it contains flavonolignans, flavonolignans, which we call silymarin. Silymarin is a group of molecules, powerful antioxidants that provide these tremendous health benefits. Complex antioxidant properties, the silymarins go by silibin, isocilibin, silidiene, there are a bunch of them. It's not important you know that, but I want you to know how thoroughly scientists have researched this stuff. It's, it's really quite amazing. It goes by other names, historical names, Our Lady's Thistle, Holy Thistle, St. Mary's Thistle, Silly Marin, sometimes it's just called that. We have at least 2,000 years of safe use. Plus, the milk thistle plant has been a famine food for centuries, meaning when times are tough, well, it's not our preferred, it's not filet mignon, but it will keep us going, collecting these thistle heads and grinding the seeds and eating this. People have survived with this type of food. Uh, we have early, early historical writings about milk thistle. The ancient Roman physician Pliny the Elder wrote in 50 AD that it was excellent for digestive problems and he used it to carry off the bile. We refer to bile sludge, cholestatic, meaning the bile is not flowing properly. This is a common problem. More common than you realize, it can lead to gallstones and many other problems. And so he would use it to carry off the bile. The Greek physician Dioscorides in 50 AD used milk thistle as a tea antidote for snake bites. And you go, what's that got to do with milk thistle in the liver? Well, snake venom often contains a hemolytic enzyme. In other words, it destroys the red blood cells. They break apart, just destroys them. And all those cellular byproducts go to the liver and that's where you detox and process that. And if you're bitten by a death adder or something like that, it will overwhelm your liver and you die of liver failure. So he made that connection. He treated the liver and he got results. He was able to save some lives with that. And he thought enough of it to write it down and history has preserved that. The Native Americans used the same thing. They used it as a famine food. They used it for liver conditions and for infections. Milk thistle has antibiotic properties. The German Commission E, the Western world's leading authority on herbal remedies, recommends milk thistle for this. This is kind of your summary. Heartburn, reflux, GERD, indigestion. Now, if you just eat too much, this is not a liver sign of disease. But if you have ongoing indigestion, heartburn, gastroesophageal reflux disease, it could be a liver sign very helpful. Toxin-induced liver damage, such as drug overdoses, alcoholic poisoning, mushroom poisoning, mycotoxins, or environmental poisons. This use of milk thistle is what gave milk thistle its stunning reputation. Protection from poisons, toxins, overwhelming insults on the liver, like the snake bite scenario we talked about. Cirrhosis from any cause. This is a German commission approved uses. Chronic inflammatory liver conditions, whether it's hepatitis C, autoimmune disease, anything that inflames the liver, milk thistle can help. Now, there is so much science on milk thistle, it's difficult to get through it all, but I've done my best to summarize it. Stick with me. Here's how milk thistle works. Milk thistle acts as a liver protectant. It promotes protein synthesis. The liver makes some 13,000 proteins that are deposited into the bloodstream and circulate and communicate with various organs in virtually every cell in the human body. 
that's the function of these proteins and the liver's in charge of that. Milk thistle turns that process on, makes it more efficient so it can communicate, the liver can communicate with all our body parts better. That is a huge job and they know exactly how it works. It also turns on the gene-directed liver cell repair. Turns on the process of replacing the liver cells. It closes the liver cell pores, preventing further toxins from entering into the liver cell. It protects the liver cell. It also modulates the immune response, protecting from autoimmune insult. It activates liver cell protein synthesis, which leads to replication of the liver cell, inhibits lipid peroxidation. This is, if you get too much Tylenol in your bloodstream, it is strongly becomes a free radical. It depletes your glutathione and that damages your liver and ends in liver failure. Milk thistle turns on the glutathione to help to counter that process or any other free radical insult in the liver. That's a lot to think about but it is the protector of the liver. It's just amazing. Acts as an anti-carcinogen by inhibition of cyclin-dependent kinase and arrest of cancer cell growth. It helps with cancer. When the liver is chronically inflamed from any cause, whether it's hepatitis C or uh, too much alcohol, whatever cause, it causes inflammation of the liver, which can in turn lead to liver cancer. Hepatocellular carcinoma, which is one of the worst cancers to ever have. Milk thistle helps to slow that process down, protecting the liver from cancer. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? And it's, a, well, we mentioned glutathione. It counters liver disease immune suppression while inhibiting autoimmune liver disease. And when I was in clinical practice, I many times, multiple times, diagnosed liver disease because of immune suppression. Uh, Mr. Jones, you've been in many times with a cold and flu over the last six uh, months to two years, that type of cereal. Why are you getting sick all the time? Immune suppression. Let's check the liver enzymes, bingo, liver disease. Milk thistle helps to counter that immune suppression. Can I finish this section before we go to break? Yes. These unique features make milk thistle very useful in a wide variety of health conditions with no cytochrome P450 inhibition. What does that mean? It does not inhibit your liver's ability to detoxify medicines because we have our medicines we must take. We don't want something that stops those medicines or the clearing of the medicine. It actually does not interfere with your blood levels of certain medicines. So through all this protein synthesis and all these wonderful things, you can help every organ in the human body just by treating your liver. You getting holism now and how important it is to understand liver function and the value of milk thistle? We'll be back with the studies on specific conditions and milk thistle. nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love, that will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. 
But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. We're back everyone. Just want to give you another reminder. We have a great special today on the Milk Thistle with the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Milk Thistle. Buy one at the regular price. You get a second bottle free. That's a great way to add to your supplement plan to really help nourish and detoxify your liver. So Richard, we have a lot of science, but this we is do. really great. We do. Uh, milk thistle and cirrhosis. Milk thistle significantly lowers liver enzymes in cirrhosis with the majority returning to normal. It even improves the histology. If they were to do a biopsy of the liver, the liver cells will show improvement in cirrhosis. That's advanced liver disease, folks. Multiple studies have shown this. Multiple studies have confirmed the benefit of milk thistle in cirrhosis. Trials that failed to show milk thistle's benefit in cirrhosis took too little milk thistle for too short a time, designed to fail. We know how long it takes. It takes months, months of this type of therapy to turn around serious liver disease. Uh, Two-year minimum treatment, median 41 months. Get this, this is, says it all for milk thistle. In this study of cirrhosis, those who took milk thistle were about 50% less likely to die during the course of the study. This is a large study too. 50% less likely to die. How can you argue with this? Double blind study, non-alcoholic liver cirrhosis among those taking milk thistle, 60% lived four years, 40% lived four years for the placebo. That's impressive. Fatty liver disease. You're not to the point of cirrhosis yet, but the fat's infiltrating and it's inflaming the liver and it could lead to cirrhosis. 20 to 30 percent of the U.S. population has this today. 20 to 30 percent. Studies have shown milk thistles benefit for the control of diabetic insulin resistance and the prevention of fatty liver disease. Multiple double-blind studies. 200 milligrams three times a day decreases hemoglobin A1C, decreases fasting blood glucose levels, total cholesterol, LDL, triglycerides. All the measures of diabetes control improve with milk thistle. Milk thistle and hepatitis. Infectious hepatitis, hepatitis C. Milk thistle inhibits hepatitis C virus and lowers virus load, lowers enzyme levels, increases T cell activation, increases the immune suppression of hepatitis C, and improves the quality of life. 67 chronic hepatitis and bile duct inflammation patients after three months, not three days, three months of milk thistle, liver biopsy showed significant improvement of liver biology, histology. Acute viral hepatitis, those who took milk thistle showed a quicker return to normal laboratory values. 105 acute hepatitis for all causes. Those who took milk thistle saw quicker resolution of bilirubin associated symptoms. The jaundice. The, ugh, I feel terrible. I don't want to eat. Bilirubin associated. Uh, that improved better. Milk thistle makes interferon therapy for hepatitis C work better. There is no drug interactions here. You can mix it with other remedies for 
whatever your liver condition is. It's fine, it, it, it's good. Uh, 650 milligrams a day improved four major factors of hepatitis C control. Multiple studies have shown this. So when you do a Google search of milk thistle and hep C and they say at WebMD there's no critical, there's no reliable evidence, there's no proof, it's not true, it's fake. Do your own search. Don't take some website's analysis. It, you know who owns WebMD? You're smart enough to figure it out. Pharmaceutical companies own that. Are they going to sell natural products there? Of course not. This, that's not hard to understand. So I don't want to see anybody walk past a viable therapy when it could help them and it can do it very cheaply and very safely. That's the only reason I say these things. It's the only reason. I want you to get the help you need. A review of 12 trials, 1,100 patients, 20 years of milk thistle research found milk thistle is effective in acute hepatitis, chronic hepatitis, toxic liver damage, and the mechanisms that have been explained and you understand it. Uh, death cap poisoning. Here's a study in Germany, 50% reduction in death from 250 death cap poisoning cases. This is poison mushrooms. Poison mushrooms. 46 deaths in the standard care. Zero deaths in those who took milk thistle. That's how good milk thistle is with acute liver injury. That's amazing. My remedy for that is don't pick up mushrooms in the forest and eat them, unless you're with a mycologist who knows everything about them. <laughs> That's how you avoid that, right? Well, in the few minutes we have left, this amazing and profound response in liver disease from milk thistle made scientists and physicians think well what about other conditions all those liver proteins they they affect the rest of the body neurologic disorders milk thistle improves nerve repair protecting from neurodegenerative diseases there's a whole line of research it inhibits amyloid beta cohesion this is your alzheimer's parkinson's disease that's what's damaging the brain it helps to minimize that it's an excellent chelator of iron, hemochromatosis. Iron's very toxic to the liver in high levels. A little's okay, it's supposed to be there. But if we're accumulating too much iron, very big problem. Milk thistle helps this. If you have been told you have hemochromatosis, please add some milk thistle to your plan. Uh, Trauma-induced inflammation, you know, a car wreck. Uh, it helps with that. Cancer and radiation. Milk thistle helps our bodies fight cancer by at least 15 known mechanisms. Helpful with prostate cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, lung, colon, skin. If you add selenium to milk thistle, it helps to inhibit prostate cancer metastasis. Milk thistle stops colorectal cancer stem cells from growing new tumors. Cardiovascular disease. We talked about Diabetes, improving measures of glucose control. It helps to stop endothelial. So what I'm saying, milk this will even help your blood pressure. <laughs> even help your blood pressure. So now you're getting an idea of how critically important our livers are to good health. And one of the absolute best herbs in the world for liver function. That's milk thistle, folks. When we return, we'll tell you how to take it and the particulars of use. We'll be right back. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. 
Cindy Becker, and this is your health at a glance. Do you want to maintain your mental clarity? With people living longer, we need more research into the ways to lower the risk of dementia. Studies are showing us that people who regularly read books, complete puzzles, or solve word games like the Sunday crossword puzzle maintain their mental abilities longer than people who don't. We also preserve memory by maintaining social activities, such as volunteering, attending religious services, or regularly talking with friends and neighbors. And diet plays a big role as well. It's important to eat a nutritious diet, free from heavy metals and chemical pollutants, and full of vitamins and the essential fatty acids which power the brain. These simple and important steps will help keep you mentally healthy for many years to come. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. is brought to you by Bio Innovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder on that milk thistle special. Buy one, get one free today. I don't want you to miss it. So, Richard, how do we supplement with milk thistle? Well, our capsules are 200 milligrams of standardized uh, 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 milk thistle, and we also add lipase and lecithin. And the reason we add that is not a filler. Why we add that is it increases the absorption of these fat-soluble molecules known as the silymarins. So it's to your benefit to add these. You get more out of the uh, product. So two capsules, two times a day is a very typical standard dose of milk thistle. But I want you to know if your life is at risk and you're really struggling, you can take much more. And according to the World Journal of Gastroenterology, a review of all the available literature on milk thistle, milk thistle has no drug in interactions and no significant side effects none that's an amazing thing so you can take it with medicines it helps you to better tolerate medicines it's a great thing side effects rare allergy it is a plant you could be allergic to it but it's not very common it has a laxative effect in some people but this is actually a good thing remember constipation dysbiosis it all makes liver conditions worse regularity is very important so cleaning out may be a good thing for your liver condition it reduces your insulin and hypoglycemic agent need if you're diabetic so keep track of your glucose you may need less insulin you may need less oral hypoglycemic agent but that's a good thing too the goal is to have less medicine in our life high and prolonged doses are safe in the literature it says due to its long historical use Use during pregnancy and lactation and child is okay if the need is present. You wouldn't just take it for no reason. Now, who would benefit? Heartburn, indigestion, if you're on multiple medicines, if you're in cancer and chemotherapy, if you work in a polluted area or you work in the chemical industry, you would consider that. If you have mold exposure, polluted, polluted city, and of course, we talk about the liver diseases, high cholesterol, many medications, uh, hereditary hemochromatosis, too much iron in the system, intestinal dysbiosis or candidiasis, any neurologic disease, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, plus all the liver conditions we talked about. This is an amazing substance. I want everybody in America to know about it. I want you to know there's good science behind this. It's safe. And why wouldn't we use safe, effective, reasonably priced agents? Thank you for your kind attention, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.